Hey, hey guys, it's so good to see you again. And guess what? I have some news for you. And here are the following news that I'm going to share. I'm going to share about the four things that I'm going to share today in this video. First of all, it's going to be a new code. It was just released a few days ago. So I'm not sure whether the code is still valid. So take down this code and I'm going to put this code under this video so that you guys can copy and paste. So there will be a hashtag ICVK12 all capital letter. Just write this down, copy it and paste it. And you can use this code for a redemption. It's just a free item that you can use it for your own use. Okay, so that's number one down. So next one is going to be the new event, Eternal Snowflake. Look at that. And at the same time, the Rotania is out. The source power, Rotania. You need 70 of these ticket. Chop chop, 100% guarantee you will get this SSR unit. Rotania. I show you, my Rotania is only like this, 3 star. Every enemy partner on the field will increase the damage rate by 7%. Damage rate is one of the best stats that you could ever get in order for this Rotania to nuke the crap out of the enemy. Although you see that the energy cost is 20, very high cost, but you can reduce it when you have Vivian. If you have Vivian to 5 star, it will be a deduction of 9 energy. In if you if your Vivian is below 5 star, then it will be a deduction of 6 energy. And that is one way to quickly summon Rotania. Rotania is normally used at the, the, the very late stage of the battle. Because if enemy partner is just too many, you're gonna need that this motherfucking Rotania to just sweep the whole board. She is usually a nuker other than Yuffie. If she teams together with Yuffie, her damage for the AoE is just damn sick. Look at this. 200 enemy summons take 1.5 times. So she is also an anti-summon. Uh, be it an enforcer or be it a uh, Frentiva or be it the Ashwire summons. Things like that that you could know of. Or even the Ants Puppet also consider a summon a special hits the column normal attack also hits the column very good to have so take a look at four star her ulti will increase the damage by 50 percent with some hp attributes will give her the survivability more hp the better for inside her passive increase critical rate by three percent for every enemy partner in the battle so if let's say there is nine enemies three times nine you get 27 percent crit rate so it is better to equip this rotania with high critical rates uh, like i'll show you one of the accessory that gives the critical rate and you can equip her actually and then for six star rotania she increases the critical rate by 35 percent that's even better It will be nice if she can equip a Sakura Rain because the Sakura Rain can increase the critical damage. Her critical rate is plus 35% on her special attack only, just like Saya special, same thing. So equipment, I'll leave it to you guys to decide. I'll show you one of the equipment uh, I put. This is called a Sincere Prayer. If I put it at level 5, Oh wait, I haven't enhanced it yet. Her critical rate is at 10%. So if I I haven't do the upgrade for Saya, look at that. Where's my Saya? I'm supposed to upgrade this thing. Ah, there it is. So at 6 star, level 60, the crit rate increased to 12%. 12 12%. So if you equip this to this uh, Rotania, this Rotania, when she ultimates, she will just clear, clear the whole board. Confirm almost guarantee a critical damage. 
critical hit. Her damage is just damn sick. You can also equip her with the witch, witch dance boots. So if let's say there's some surviving units after her ultimate, she will also has a small chance to silence the enemy. It's good to silence the enemy. You 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 dig. And for the for her survivability, most likely you can give her a nightmare rope. So far I don't have any single nightmare rope. Ah. Weapon, anything goes. You can give her the curse swap. The rest of them uh, are actually rubbish to me. Or you can give her this stuff of Ceres. More damage on her AoE. Who do one more damage on her AoE? I use this weapon for my Yuffie, you know. I'll show you my Yuffie. Because I don't have the Staff of Hope, that's why I will use this one first. Staff of Hope is definitely much better. This is what I use for my Yuffie. <laughs> so if you are the budget type, this stuff is definitely highly recommended. If you want to equip this on your Miyuki or Hachishiki or even the Rotania, by all means, go ahead and use it, man. This one also can. Increases the crits. Suitable for Rotania also. So that's her gears for Rotania. Okay, the next thing is I want to show you my Saya and her Z. Both 170. However, my Saya, the CP, is almost 22,000. Whereas my Herzy, 5 star already, 16.8k CP. So look at the equipment. Okay, now let me arrange by based on class uh, because the class is. Ah, there it is. This is the better way to compare. Bloodsucker, level 16. Sincere Prayer, level 16. So total critical rate is 24%. So if let's say this Saya uses her special, they'll increase by another 35% critical rate. So 35% plus 24% then makes 59%. And if the extra critical rate comes from the leader, Saya will most likely do a critical hit. And you want more critical damage, Sakura Rain is one of the best. But so far, I haven't maxed out these boots. If I maxed out these boots, her speed will increase or so, which means to say that her survivability and her speed, she will most likely attack first. These armors are... Uh, Ideally, I wanted to put Scarlet Curious, but so far I don't have any. So I will go with Block Resistance to prevent the whoever is in front, maybe a Guardian, which is most likely equipped with Block Rates. So this will be good also. 6, 6.6k attack power from the Blood Sucker and 2.2k from the Sincere Prayer. So if I go with my Herzy. My Herzy is only like that. 18.75 and she'll do the crit. I got a lot of these boots. Crit 2% but most likely they will one hit KO my Herzy. So what's the point? i rather use Sakura Rain on my Herzy. And only 625 so which means to say that in her total stats right the, the attack is nearly 18,000. higher energy cost as compared with saya 26k 26k attack power from my saya 597 speed but this one is 567 however the lens her passive gives 15 percent damage rate so let's see if my Herzy can still keep up the damage against uh, Saya. Let's go Collapse. Let's go Collapse Dream. Number 15. By accident. This is the best place where I can compare. Okay, maybe I go to Path. The best for me to compare 15.3 collapse dream 
First of all, we'll see Saya's damage when she ultimate. Ah! Are you kidding me? Not the best place to compare. How about I go loss? Hmm, against Phoebe. Interesting. Let's try. I want you guys to see the HP bar at the top right hand corner. We go butterfly. Why are you kidding me? Uh, nope, not want to go here. Maybe go by accident. Fifteen point two. The best time to compare. Okay, nine seven nine thousand. Critical hit eight hundred seventy four thousand. So you know how much it is, eight hundred seventy four thousand. But that is critical hit. So I'm gonna try again. I want a non critical from Saya. Because her Z will not be able to crit very easily as compared with Saya. So I want to see clearly how much damage can my Saya do with her ultimate. 913k. So which means the total damage that she does is uh, 66,000. 68.8,000. Not bad. Now let's try with my Herzi. Just remember 66.8 thousand. Now let's try. 10.5k. Okay, 909k. Which may exclude the 10,000. So total she does is around 70.6k. And excluding the 10,000 damage of the explosion, which is around the 60k, so her damage is already almost on par with Saya in terms of ultimate. So I heard that very soon Herzi is going to get Awakening very soon, as well as Miyuki. So since uh, Herzi liked me so much, so I made her 5 star. And I'm already uh, one summons away before I can really 6 star my Herzi. And along the way, I am also getting more Lost Mirror. Because you're going to need 6,000 Lost Mirror, some of them call it the Dust, in order to max. Then I'm going to need another roughly 20, 240 shards of Herzi in order to awaken her. I'm not sure if there's any Herzi... Herzy banner. If there's a Herzy banner, then it will be easy peasy for me to go and summon her. Hopefully. I hope the RNG is in my favor, then I can easily awaken Herzy. If I were to use Saya's equipment, my Herzy will do much more damage, surely. Herzy is a good hero, and once she gets awakening, she will be a deadly AF. So that's the third thing down already. Oh yes, have I ever covered Eternal Snowflakes? In fact, not yet, but in, in case I already cover, I'll go again. This event will get you the skins of Frentiva if I'm not wrong. I'm gonna check the quest under achievement there. Maybe not Frentiva, but Angela skins. This is what you can get at 8,000 snow candies. So there's the normal version. There is also the collapse version by pressing the switch mode. Very easy event compared with the last event. The last event was fucking hard at the collapse one. All the normal monsters that spawn can even one hit KO at my current level. Fucking difficult. But this event is much better. Trust me. Even, the peop even other players lower level also can do one. No problem. 
and go it all the way to round 12. Nice to get Selena Scrolls. I already 5 star my Selena. Very good reward, not bad. Can get a lot of lost mirrors along the way in the event. So I wish the developers could give us more lost mirrors. My Selena is currently level 70. I haven't even oh, 5 star her. That's too bad. So let's see how many shots my Selena. I got 44. So halfway through, almost halfway through to 6 star my Selena also. But I still need lots of lost mirrors. That's a very bad thing. And these girls can do more damage in the event. Angela, Frentiva, and Rotania. That's why the Rotania banner was out. Alright, that's it for the event. Very easy. No problem for even the noobs. Lastly, so you guys ask for it. Do a giveaway. Sure. But I'm going to challenge you guys. end of this month we would like to reach 1000 subscribers so by end of this month if let's say the number of subscribers has reached to 1000 then i will do a mysterious prize gift giveaway and one lucky winner i will personally email them with the so-called the code or the coupon code or the redemption code as a giveaway at the beginning of January 2021 so if you guys could help me bring the subscriber to 1000 in this channel then I shall reward one lucky winner a mysterious prize a giveaway for 1000 subscribers so I hope you guys accept the challenge and ready to go and that is it for this video. I have covered four things in this video. And I hope that the developers could do a better job in providing more lost mirrors, XP potion, or even the gold stamina included. Because now it's harder to upgrade all my girls just like that. This much. Alright, do like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and God bless you.